for those communities. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, my name again is Tom Dobear, and I'm here on behalf of Patients and Families United, which is a statewide network of patients, their loved ones, and other supporters. And our focus is, not, is public education patient targeted not only for medical marijuana patients, but also pain patients, whether they use cannabis or not. And I, I am here to strongly support this bill for pretty much the same reasons others have said. Uh, although I am also uh, among those who think there are some serious flaws with this bill, but it, it's, it represents a very comprehensive, thorough, and conscientious attempt to provide a blueprint for solving the many problems this law has unintentionally uh, spawned. Uh, and I encourage you to work with it and to work with those of us who were very active in the, in the uh, interim committee uh, to, to add and to and enhance this bill uh, in ways that we can all agree on. Uh, I, as I said earlier, I think the opportunity for near consensus solutions is extraordinarily good. Uh, I would like to mention a few things about the bill that I think are inadequate uh, and or that I think get, get, the, get the problem wrong. Uh, the two big categories of problem in my judgment have been the adequacy and the, the medical legitimacy of recommendations, particularly in the case of these gigantic traveling clinics. Uh, 30 seconds, uh, and then on the other hand, ensuring accountability, total transparency, and regulatory oversight, law enforcement insight into all the growing and dispensation. Uh, I think this bill offers some improvements there, but again, doesn't go far enough. You've heard one idea for an additional bar for physicians uh, to have to be in order to recommend. Uh, I think there uh, uh, could be others that apparently need to be explicit in, in law. There are things the health department could already do that you, you could require a physician, for example, to uh, deliberately uh, and clearly affirm that each specific item in the Board of Medical Examiner's required standards, standards of practice has been satisfied. Uh, if if you can adequately tighten up the doctor recommendation end, uh, a, a huge array of problems goes away. Thank you. Uh, but the two doctor recommendation uh, requirement for pain patients, I think, punishes patients for the excesses of opportunists uh, rather than actually solving the problem. And there are other examples, and I look forward to talking with all of you and, and helping to improve this bill. Thank you very much.